How's it going everyone? Swanee and Cookie here with a quick Helldivers 2 update. Now we have officially eliminated the automatons off the Galactic War map and what's crazy is that towards the end of this battle there were over 360,000 players just on the planet of Durgan to end out this epic war against the automatons and with that we got a brand new dispatch. So why don't you go over that brand new dispatch for us Cookie? So the dispatch reads that Operation Swift Disassembly was successful. The the automaton threat has been fully eradicated from our galaxy. Our citizens are safe, our heroic fallen avenged. With the bots eradicated and bugs contained, the galaxy is free once more. The supposed threat posed by the so-called reclamation can be considered fully ended. Out of an abundance of caution, SEAF teams will continue to search what remains of the automaton facilities and servers for any additional intelligence. Also on the Helldivers 2 official Twitter, it says, You did it, Helldivers. Operation Swift Disassembly was a success. With the bots eradicated and bots contained, Galaxy is free once more with a little mission accomplished banner on there too. And I mean, that tweet just came out as of recording this like 15 minutes ago and it already has like north of 11,000 likes. So what's been really cool to kind of see about all this stuff is just the hype that's been going on around it. You know, the Discord is exploding with memes and stuff of victory and so is the Reddit and so is Twitter. It's just... Kind of neat to see there's so much enthusiasm behind this just to go along with the 360,000 players that were playing around the time of Liberation. Yeah, and that 360,000 players, that's not even including the players that were facing the Terminids. So there was like well over 400,000 plus people playing this game. And we haven't seen those numbers in, in a couple weeks. So there was a lot of interest that kind of came back over this weekend. And yeah, like you said, the Discord, every single channel in the Helldivers Discord is just getting spammed with emotes and people celebrating and it's pretty crazy to watch like everybody's taking a little bit of a breather and we're, we're actually celebrating a little bit now this does bring up the question of like what happens next though like how long are we going to have to mm -hmm. wait before we get the next major order because we did beat this a whole day before the major order was supposed to end so are right. we just gonna you know we have 400,000 some players are we all just gonna focus on the terminids because at this pace we're probably gonna wipe out the terminids too so like where do we go from here what i've heard a lot of people say is in that same vein it's basically the idea of like well i've got all this momentum out of destroying the automatons i want to destroy the terminids now too so i don't entirely know i kind of feel like arrowhead is probably going to at least sit on it for at least a day just to see how the reaction goes because they might just say all right let's push to destroy the terminids now instead of doing anything with the automatons they might kind of gauge what the community's feeling how they kind of react to all this and see if maybe a full-on eradication of the terminids is the way they want to want to go before pushing in any other directions they could also consider this over when the terminids are done and restart the thing like people say they've done in helldivers one i don't know if that would be the best idea or what i want to happen but they may go that route uh but for right now i think they kind of want people to legitimately enjoy it as if it's like a real war victory like you'd you don't want to immediately go back to fighting necessarily in a real war situation obviously but i think they kind of want to give people a chance to celebrate a little bit as if it's a real victory yeah it wouldn't really make sense if like as soon as we eliminated the automatons they're like oh by the way here's a whole new faction good luck and it starts yeah. right off the get-go yeah i think you're right because next week we're getting a brand new war bond so there's going to be new content around that. I don't know. I feel like if we like if everyone focuses on the Terminids and we wiped out the Terminids and then they just did a complete refresh and they restarted everything, that kind of takes away from the whole we killed the automatons. Like if we just get them back next week because we killed everything, that doesn't that doesn't feel like much of a victory if they just come back right yeah. away. The automatons are going to have to stay away for a while for that to really feel like anything was accomplished. I think if they make us go after the Terminids, I think that. That will definitely lead to something like we'll have a victory for a day and then realize it's not a victory anymore and maybe that's when the illuminate comes in or they come in earlier or they do something totally different but i would be surprised if they just say all right you guys win reset i'll be like uh eh. yeah. and, and i guess they could reset with the illuminate too i mean they could they could just do a cold fresh restart and then have the illuminate there as like the new oncoming Third threat faction. <laughs> There could be three or, or maybe like the Illuminate's not finished yet, so they want us to take our time killing off the Terminids, and then that might last a whole nother week or two, and then that mm -hmm. could buy them enough time to finish putting the Illuminate into the game kind of deal. I mean, if that's the case, that they've really pushed 
killing off the automaton so it kind of feels like they want to accelerate the story a bit i'm yeah. not getting the feel that they're trying, trying to, to slow us down yeah because this major order definitely did not slow us down <laughs> yeah so, i mean they did give yeah. us like you said they gave us that major order to eliminate them completely so they know what they're doing behind the scenes it's just the question of like what and why well yeah i'd be shocked if they're like oh no they actually completed our major <laughs> order i hope that i hope they're not thinking like that i'd give them more credit than that sure they got something going on but i'm starting to feel like and, and this might be proven wrong pretty soon but i, I kind of feel like they'll give us at least until the major order time was supposed to be over before they advance the story i think they'll give us probably till tomorrow morning and apparently in helldivers one anytime you eliminated a faction they gave you like cool cosmetics people were saying that mm. you got like a cape because like if you wiped out out the automatons so hopefully we get some sort of cosmetic award like hey you you completely wipe them off you get this really cool cape or this really cool armor set or something i i hope that happens well not to mention it says in that dispatch at the end of it that the seaf teams are going to continue to search through the remains they could find cool weapons or cool stuff maybe that they come up yeah. with or different intelligence i mean that would be a cool little thing to add in there like hey look what we found let's give this to our hell divers to help them take out the terminates could be a new stratagem, could be anything, Do you really. think this could be their out to be like, oh no, they found more automatons in hiding. They're not truly gone. I hope if they do that, the automatons are different in some way. I hope they're not exactly the same, because then it's like, okay, well, that didn't really... <laughs> Mm -hmm. that would take away from the victory too <laughs> yeah they need and they need to be careful if they're going to do that because i don't want to never face automatons again but like we've talked about in the past like we want to have some time away from them to feel like we actually accomplished something so they they'll probably do that to some extent but i hope if they do that the automatons are not the same automatons we've been fighting like i hope they are upgraded or have some sort of creative new fighting style or something i mean we're going to get some new major orders either probably tomorrow would be my guess. Probably, yeah. if not earlier. Yeah, so we're expecting some major orders to drop, you know, sometime soon, because normally when the major order, once it's completed or if it's failed, they just give us new major orders right away. So yeah, we'll keep you guys updated on that as well. As soon as the major orders drop, we will uh, keep you guys up to date and let you guys know what those are. So another thought I kind of just had was about the Illumina and the fact that, especially in the game, there's not much that hints towards the Illumina really at all at this point. Like, we've all seen the leaks and there's tons and tons of leaks of illuminate stuff but as far as the game is concerned in itself there's like the blue laser beams there's a couple other things you could try to connect to the illuminate but there isn't anything in the official game right now really that's pointing to the illuminate that much the reason i bring that up is usually when they are about to introduce something like the gunships or the shriekers there's a little bit more clue that this is coming so i don't know if the illuminate is ready to drop like tomorrow i guess is mm -hmm. what i'm trying to say yeah like people started to see the shriekers a couple of days beforehand Right. I think they'll hint at it more than this. Yeah. So you will you think maybe people will start to see them actually appear in-game every so often? Something like that. I think they might give us some new cool stuff from taking out the automatons, maybe the vehicles that have been leaked and stuff, maybe some new weapons. But I also think that the next major order is going to be basically to push the Terminants back, keep pushing the Terminants back, and we're going to slowly see some hinting towards the Illuminate, I think, in the next couple of weeks before they actually release them, maybe in two or three weeks. But it, it is pretty weird seeing that the this whole chunk of the map is completely empty, so that's going to take some getting used to. Yeah, it's a little weird. Uh, the, I don't know if they'll just change the map so it only shows one half. <laughs> I mean, I yeah. guess they might as well at this point. But I'd, I'd at least figure the thing that says automatons will probably go away, which would be kind of cool to see. It'll just be totally blank. Yeah, but we did it, and it's it's pretty cool. It was it it's was over. very very cool and fun to see over three hundred plus thousand people on one planet. Like the percentage, it went from like uh, ninety percent to a hundred in like no time. So that was definitely pretty cool to see. But uh, that's gonna do it for everything in this video, guys. Let us know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. That way you don't miss out on any future Helldivers two videos. And that's gonna do it for us. And we will talk to you all next time. So goodbye. Bye-bye.